Hivi we have got time. Kama bado tunaye muda, let us turn me to the Bible. Hebu tufungue Biblia zetu. First Thessalonians. Thessalonike wa kwanza. It is there. Eh imeandikwa hapo kwenye bango. Thessalonike wa kwanza sura ya 5 mstari wa 23. Yes, let us read together. Hebu basi tusome pamoja. Thessalonike wa kwanza 5:23. NIV Biblia yangu ni NIV kwa wale wanaotumia toleo kama la kwangu pengine wewe unaweza kuwa na Biblia tofauti na ya kwangu My Bible says my God who says the God of peace sanctify you through and through Mungu wa amani mwenyewe awatakase kabisa eh, nanyi nafsi zenu May, may, may your whole spirit uh, soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Roho the one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. Roho zenu na mili yenu muhifadhiwe muwe kamili bila lawama wakati wa kuja kwake bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. 24 yeye ni mwaminifu ambaye awaita naye atafanya. The word using there is sanctify. Neno ambalo limetumika hapa ni utakaso. I want to explain what does it mean by the word sanctify. Nataka nieleze habari ya nini maana ya utakaso. <coughs> to be sanctified, kutakaswa is to be clean. Maana yake ni kusafishwa. To be washed, kuoshwa. So, kwa hiyo basi in me ndani yangu mimi maybe pengine even before i was born again hata kabla sijaokoka even there even here now hata sasa hivi i need to be sanctified nahitaji kuoshwa in three parts nisafishwe katika maeneo matatu in body katika mwili nisafishwe my body must be clean mwili wangu uoshwe uwe safi my spirit Roho yangu must be clean. Iyoshwe iwe safi. My soul, nafsi yangu must be clean. Iyoshwe iwe safi. Who defiled these three parts? Nani anayechafua hizi sehemu zote tatu? Oh what? Oh which can you define my body? Can you define my spirit? Can you define my soul? Kitu gani kitachafua mwili wangu, roho yangu na nafsi yangu? If we come together here. Tukija pamoja hapa. He says my God himself the God of peace sanctify you through and through Mungu wa amani mwenyewe watakase kabisa nanyi eh, nafsi zenu na roho zenu What does it mean through and through? Ah uh, anamaanisha nini nini anaposema watakase uh, ninyi kabisa it kabisa? Means he can sanctify us maana yake naweza katutakasa times until the end. Maana yake naweza katutakasa kwa nyakati zote I don't, Paka know, I don't know your Bible. My Bible says through and through. Sijui Biblia yako inasemaje lakini ya kwangu inasema kabisa kabisa. Ehe sanctify you through and through. Awatakase nyinyi kabisa kabisa. Through and through. Yaani anaposema through and through to me kwangu is time times and the times until the end maana yake ni nyakati zote mpaka mwisho wa maisha so may god sanctify you kwa hiyo mungu wangu awatakase nyinyi in all times kwa nyakati zote until the end mpaka mwisho haleluya haleluya and uh, listen to this naomba usikilize hapa from chapter 5 verse 25 it was Ah, kuanzia sura ya 5 mstari wa 23. May God make you holy. Mungu awafanye ninyi kuwa watakatifu. In your whole being. Katika utu wenu wote. The whole being. Ah, utu wote mzima means the spirit. Maana yake roho, soul, nafsi and the body. Na mwili. This is the whole being. Hii ni utu mzima. You cannot eat lose this one wewe ukapoteza sehemu hii ya nafsi and then you have this part here alafu ukabakizwa hata hizi then you say i am a man alafu ukasema eti mimi ni mtu 
Yuko sawa? Yes. Okay. Keep my time, John. Keep my time, please. Naomba kunitunzie muda wangu jamani. Turn with me to the book of Galatians. Fungua pamoja nami kitabu cha Wagalatia. Galatians chapter 5. Wagalatia sura ya 5. Basi nasema enendeni kwa roho and you will not gratify the desire of the sinful nature. Wala hamtatimiza kamwe tamaa za mwili. For the sinful nature kwa sababu desires in what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit what is contrary to the sinful nature kwa sababu mwili hutamani kushindana na roho na roho kushindana na mwili kwa maana hizi zimepingana hata hamwezi kufanya ninayotaka they are in the conflict with each other zinapingana so that you do not do what you want wala hamwezi kufanya ninayotaka but if you are led by the spirit lakini mkiongozwa na roho you are not under the law hamko chini ya sheria so listen here naomba unisikilize live by spirit enendeni katika roho what does it mean ana inamaanisha nini walk with the spirit tembeeni katika roho what does it mean maana yake ni nini walk by the spirit mtembee pamoja na roho what does it mean maana yake ni nini led by spirit muongozwe na roho What does it mean? Maana yake ni nini? And you will not gratify hamtatimiza kamwe the desires of the sinful nature. Tamaa za mwili. What is what is the desire what is this, the desire of the sinful nature? What is the sinful nature? Yeah, eh tamaa za mwili. Yo zipi? Yes, what is what is the sinful nature? Je, yeah, tamaa za mwili ni zipi? <coughs> And uh, what is the last is of, what is the last? Eh tamaa ni nini? Of the flesh. Eh tamaa ya mwili. <coughs> And what is human nature? Na na eh, 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 asili ya binadamu ni nini? And what is old nature? Na utu wa kale ni nini? And what is old self? Na